IRBB or interest rate risk in the banking book because that's what it stands for. Um, you have to see that as the management of your interest rate risk, something a bank already needs to do. The only thing is that there is now legislation. Luckily, no impact on capital. But on the other hand, with evolving market evolutions, where interest is about to rise because of better economic conditions, obviously you don't want to be, as a bank, the latest one to move on, on that curve and do the right management and realize that net interest income. So managing RBB actually factors two factors. One is the net interest income, which I already told you that from a profitability perspective, very important that you do that in the future so that you're not the last one to move. And certainly from low to high interest rates, very important. And the second one is the EVE or the economic value of equity, which is the rest value that actually keeps there when you subtract um, assets that are not part of equity, obviously, out of that and what is the net value of your company. This will give you a long-time measure of interest rate risk, which will be part of your Pillar 2 reporting.